Now let's talk about some topics related to the namespace. Domains, subdomains, delegation, and zones. Domains are groups of related nodes. Technically, they're a subtree of the namespace, everything at a particular node of the namespace and below that point. Domains are identified by a domain name. That is the domain name of the node at the apex or top of the subtree. If you look at the diagram on the right, you'll see that we're highlighting a node whose domain name is com. But in addition to identifying that node, that domain name also identifies an entire domain, which consists of all of the nodes at or below com in the namespace, indicated by the red triangle. You could also think of the com domain as consisting of all domain names in the namespace that end in com, hp.com, www.infoblocks.com, and so on. There's a similar concept in DNS called a subdomain, which are domains contained within another domain. If you think back to the last section, where we talked about the similarities between the namespace and a file system, this is much like the relationship between directories and subdirectories. In this case, the apex, or the top of the subdomain, is within its parent domain. If you think of this in terms of the domain names of the domain and one of its subdomains, the name of the subdomain will always end in the name of the parent domain. So, for example, infoblocks.com is a subdomain of com because it ends in com. In the diagram on the right, you can see the domain com and within it a subdomain whose apex is within the com domain, such as, for example, infoblocks.com. A single organization typically runs a domain. For example, an organization called ICANN, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, runs the root domain. A company called Verisign runs the com domain. But if you think about this carefully, you may realize that there's a conflict here. The root domain technically includes every node at or below the root node, so it's really the entire namespace. It actually includes the entire com domain. So how can both ICANN and VeriSign control all of the nodes below com? Clearly they can't. That's where delegation comes in. Delegation is a process that allows an organization that manages a domain to assign control of a subdomain to a different organization. Now, rather than containing all of the information in the subdomain, the parent domain only contains pointers to sources of data in the subdomain. We'll talk about what those are in one of the later sections. The parent and child are now separate administrative containers referred to as zones. Here's a diagram showing how delegation creates zones. The red line segments represent delegation. Up at the top, we have the root zone in orange, managed by ICANN and below it in red, the comm zone, managed by VeriSign. Below the comm zone, we have lots of delegations, over 100 million of them, believe it or not, to hp.com and infoblocks.com and every other two-labeled domain name ending in comm that you've ever heard of or typed into a web browser. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials. And be sure to like us on Facebook.